Fazbear's related the brand new FNAF RP in Roblox has seven badges. I'm going to show you how to get all seven in this video, starting with please stand by, then ending with I can't see, which is the brand new one. So for the first badge, please stand by. You want to head over to the map, which is the big golden egg, and then head over to Freddy Jr.'s. Then when you're inside, we're going to go ahead and go to the back room, which is obviously over here because I know the layout of this place like the back of my hand, okay? So we're going to go back into employees only, and then we're going to go all the way back. All right, so when you're looking at this room, if you turn to your right, you'll see this little tablet that says little bit. That is not the badge. The badge is actually behind this arcade cabinet where you see Lulbit's TV that says, please stand by. So all you got to do is touch that TV and the first badge is yours. The second one is called Too Deep. This badge is over in the town. Oh, hey, we have question mark. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead over to the town. We're going to go through the big golden egg and go to the right where it says town. All right, so when you're in the town, if you're staring at Freddy Jr.'s, which is right from, that's where we came out of that tunnel. So turn around, and now we're going to head back this way through the woods towards the left bridge over there. And now we're just going to keep running through here, and eventually we will see a tree with, like, blood almost at the foot of it. But it's not blood. It will teleport you. And now all you have to do is follow this maze. It's not really a maze because you could just walk through stuff almost. Uh, so we're going to find the red square. We're going to touch it. And now in here, we're looking for another object that is not like the others. So we're just going to run through here. Again, it is very easy because you could zoom out and you could just pretty much run through everything. Uh, and there we go. There's a little box. We're going to touch that and boom. We are now at Old Man Consequences Lake, and you should get the badge right away. You could go ahead and talk to him if you want, but we have other badges to get. So, there was Too Deep. The next badge is called Virtually Frightful. For this badge, we're going to head back to the town again. So, let's go to the egg, go to town. All right, so after you teleport to the town and you see Fred Bear's Family Diner, you want to find this small purple house. Don't confuse it with that taller three-story one over there. You want this two-story square cube purple house. You want to go directly behind the house. And behind one of these trees, you will find a knife. There it is right here. You see we're like three trees behind the purple house is the knife, which gives you virtually frightful. The next badge is called Burning Memories. For this badge, we're not going to reset, actually. And we are going to go over to that three-story or four-story magenta purple building over here. And we're going to go behind it. And you can already see in the distance an orange pumpkin. That is what we want. So we're going to go over and touch this. And boop. The next badge is called Feel the Heat. So if you're in the town facing Freddy Jr.'s, go left into the woods. Make sure you're zoomed out all the way, just in case. And we should see an ignited animatronic head somewhere out here in the woods. There it is. Right there. The hat is off of a, but this is it. The pizzeria is all the way over there, so this is pretty much right where the tunnel is, almost. So there you go. There is Feel the Heat. The next badge is called Hidden Night. You will never find me. This badge is over in Freddy Jr.'s. So instead of resetting, we're just going to run over since we're right there anyway. So let's go ahead and go inside. So when you're in this Freddy Jr.'s, uh, you want to go straight back, turn right, then turn right again. And all we have to do is run up and touch the knight action figure, which does look a little familiar. Weird. Kind of looks like me almost. The final badge is called I Can't See. This badge is the newest out of the seven, and it is in Fred Bear's Family Diner. So that is where we're going to go. Through the egg, straight into Fred Bear's. Come on. And then once you're in Fred Bear's, go left. 
and go left again. And you'll be in this room with like a withered Fredbear and a Spring Bonnie. And all you have to do is go back here and touch this Endo head. And it'll teleport you out of the game into the forest. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, you can't zoom out at all and it's very dark. So the strategy I used was just keep going till you hit a wall. And follow this wall for as long as you can. And you know you found the badge. Uh, oh, what in the world? It's Glitch Trap. Nice. You know you found the badge when you see the white eyes of the Endo. It is very hard to miss. But again, all you have to do is follow the wall and you will eventually find it. It might take a little bit longer depending on where you found the wall at. So just keep following it and I promise eventually you will find the badge. And there we go. This is the Endo. It will take a while to find him. It'll take a lot of trial and error. But you can see he has this white light, uh, which is kind of visible if you get sort of close to him. Uh, so let's see how far he is from the wall. Uh, so he's pretty far from that wall. Uh, let's see over this way. He is kind of, he's kind of hard to see, but he is close to the wall. So if you're at the wall, you will be able to see him. So yeah, just keep hugging the wall and eventually you'll get him. So let's go ahead and reset. And let's check out all the animatronics we got for all these badges. Alright, so let's head over to the badge section right here. And it looks like they're out of order. So let's just start with Too Deep. And we get Mr. Old Man Consequences right here. He's got his little fishing rod. He's got his nice little fedora. He looks great. They don't have an ability panel like other role plays, But I mean, maybe one day they will? Who knows? But anyway, there's Old Man Consequences. So let's reset. Next up, we have the Ignited with Feel the Heat. Up first is Ignited Freddy. Very cool. Very nice. Let's reset. I will check out all the Ignited's in there, but maybe not for long because there are quite a lot of them. So let's go back in. Next up is Ignited Bonnie, I believe. And boom, one of my personal favorites. There he is, Ignited Bonnie. There is no creation in there, which is unfortunate. A lot of games don't like creation for some reason. I don't know why. Creation gets no love, but he's my favorite. Next up, we do have Ignited Chica. And then we have Ignited Foxy, and that's it for this one. Hey, there she is. I love all the colors on her face. Very colorful. Despite how, you know, terrifying she is. Alright, let's reset again. The double body thing keeps happening. I don't know what that is. And then the final animatronic of the Feel the Heat badge. Ignited Foxy. There he is. That is awesome. He has a huge hand. And there you go. There's all of the Ignited animatronics. Next up, we have Vanny in the Virtually Frightful badge. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what Vanny looks like in this game. After playing Security Breach oh, and Glitch Trap, I didn't know it was both of them. Here's Vanny. Oh, that's so creepy. Why is Vanny so creepy? I mean, Vanny's creepy either way, but for some reason, Vanny's even more creepy in here. Very, very cool. I didn't know Glitch Trap was a part of this badge, though. We definitely got to check out Glitch Trap. I mean, come on. He's a classic. I know he's not the newest animatronic or the oldest, but he's a classic nonetheless. And boom! There he is. Oh, he looks so happy. Oh, look at him. Glitch Trap looks amazing. He looks so cool. Look at him. He's doing the YMCA. He's waving his hands. He's having a good time. I love the little patches on his shoulder and his leg. Very, very cool. Very nice. I love the animatronic designs in this game. They're super blocky, but they're also, like, unique, if that makes sense. They're, you can tell they're from this game when you see them. But anyway, after Virtually Frightful, we have the Burning Memories badge with the two Jacko animatronics. Oh, look, she's got a pizza on her bib. Very nice. With her buck teeth, she's almost not scary. 
Because Jack Ochika, as we all know, terrifying. But for some reason, she's like kind of adorable in this game. And then for the final Burning Memory Badge animatronic, we have Ignited, or er, uh, Jack O'Bonnie. There we go, I couldn't get out. There you go, very, very cool. The design is awesome. I love this like tear that's going through his head. Very cool. Let's reset again. Oh, there's Lulbit. Weird, Lulbit is the first badge, but she's almost at the end of the hallway. Uh-oh, what happened to me? Uh-oh, I broke something. Oh, there we go, we're back. All right, I'm back, it's fine, no big deal. So let's go to the end and check out Lulbit. Please stand by. Oh, hey, there she is. Oh, look, she even has her TV. That's so cool. The TV's like attached to her. You know what? I think I would like to have a TV attached to me like that. It would be uncomfortable for a little bit, but it would be kind of convenient. Whenever you're doing, just turn around and watch TV on your back. No? Would that be weird? I like her earring too. Very nice. Little subtle details. Very cool. Oh no, her feet. Her feet are the only things left. What happened? Next up, we have the Hidden Knight or Gallant Gaming himself. Look at that, I even have the action figure in my hand. That is so cool. The big GG on the cape. Very awesome. Thank you to the creator of the game for adding me in. You're insane. This is so cool. Oh, look at me. I even have an action figure. The action figure's alive. Oh, it's like my shoulder buddy. It's my little shoulder buddy. He's on my shoulder. Or on my hand, I should say. That is awesome. It's so cool being in this game. Very nice. All right, let's reset, though. Oh, my helmet. I'm gone. Farewell. Now let's go in and check out the final badges morph, which is the newest one, the I Can't See Endoskeleton. Go all the way to the end of the hallway. I'm still not becoming myself. Uh-oh. I really broke it this time. Oh, I'm back. Just when I say I broke it, I come back. And then we have the Glamrock Endo. Come on, let me out. Let me out. And there he is, the Glamrock Endo. I love this, like, computer chip on the back of his head. Very, very cool. And there you go. That is how you get every single badge in Fazbear's Relighted. Uh, until they add more, of course, then I'll do videos on those. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that other good stuff. And whenever you're buying Robux or Premium, use star code GALLANT. That is going to be it for me. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.